Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. So I get asked all the time, what is my favorite Toyota Tundra of all time? And I like a lot of Toyota Tundras and that's the reason I started a Toyota Tundra based YouTube channel and have been doing it for eight years. But there is one, one that I always go on to websites and look for to see if it's out there once a week pretty much. And I never ever see this Tundra but I was able to find it today. Not just one, but two. And there's a reason. First, let's talk about the truck. If you've been around the channel a long time, this is the truck I would trade any Tundra for. 2021 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro Lunar Rock Double Cab. Now, this truck is very rare. This is one of those trucks you just don't see. I was blessed back in late 2020. I had this truck for a week to test. And at the end of this video, I will put up that playlist if you want to check out uh, my videos when I had that truck in 2020 for that week. Ever since then, this is the truck I've always looked for. I love my new generation Tundra. I love a lot of things about the new generation Tundra. But when it comes to the ultimate for me, this 2021 TRD Pro really does hit on all cylinders. Why double cab over crew max? Because we see the crew max TRD Pro Lunar Rock out there fairly often. In the older generation, there was a big difference in feel when you went crew max and double cab. To me, the double cab always felt a little bit lighter. It felt like it got down the road uh, with a little bit more response, great with handling. It's just because of a different cab on top of that platform. And don't forget, in the last generation, if you went with the crew max, you got the five and a half foot bed. But in the double cab, you got the six and a half foot bed and you still got a back seat that was functional for three grown adults. There's just something special about this particular double cab. When the transmission cooler was removed from the Tundra after the 2018 model year, it went into a recalibration and that 5.7 V8, especially in 20 and 2021, just felt a little bit peppier than usual. So getting behind the wheel, of something like a TRD Pro in 2021 that had all those modern features we always talk about. It went up to an eight inch screen in 2020. Push button start came on board. This truck had modern features, but was still fairly basic because let's not forget the TRD Pro in the US, not in Canada, Canada is different. In the US did not have blind spot monitoring and parking sensors. So this was still fairly basic with some modern features. But again, I was able to find two of them looking every week, all the time for this. And in the same day, I was able to find two. Had to make a video to show you these trucks because if you're in the market, this may be one you want to check out. And before we get to this truck, one more thing, and this is very, very important. A lot of leases that started in 2021 with that 2021 model year Tundra will be ending this year. So if you're in the market for the last year of the second generation, you may want to start checking out some websites. We were at Koch the other day. We saw that Nightshade 2021. All of a sudden, I'm seeing 2021 TRD Pros pop up all over AutoTrader, but still only a couple of this configuration that I like. So if you're in the market for a good 2021, get on those pages every day, Car Gurus, AutoTrader, your Toyota local website, because you're going to start seeing a lot come off of lease. So that's one owner, low mileage, 2021 Tundras. But let's check this out. So this is the first one that I found. Once again, double cab, lunar rock, very tough truck to find. 2021 was a weird year with the part shortage. We were still in the COVID situation. So these trucks were not heavy on the lot. The only time I've ever seen in person this truck, double cab, lunar rock, TRD Pro, was when Toyota gave it to me for the week. Other than that, I never saw this on the lot. I think I saw one or two lunar rock crew maxes through that model year. And if you want the crew max, go on Auto Trader. There was plenty of those, but only one of these. 45,446 miles, 48,588 on price. When this truck was brand new, it was roughly, depending on things like side steps and spray on liner, this was roughly around $54,000, with the crew max being around 57. Give or take a thousand each way. That is a guesstimate, but that's right around where they were. So 45,000 miles, and it's still $48,000. These trucks are known to hold their value. And don't forget, a lot of people are trying to you know, get these V8s because in the new generation Tundra, there was no V8. So these are extra popular and a lot of dealers know that. But I don't know if they know 
how rare this one is. Up front, you're going to see the LED headlights, and they have a black surround on them. You're going to see the rigid industry fog lights. You're going to see the TRD Pro grill with the Toyota Safety Sense sensor under Toyota. Of course, this has Toyota Safety Sense. Body color, absolutely all the way around the truck. All the badges are blacked out. This has like a Predator sidestep on it. BBS forge wheels, the Fox suspension, giving it about a one and a half inch lift in the front to really level out this truck. This has the TRD dual exhaust with the 5.7 V8. And if you do end up going to watch those videos in that playlist that I made in 2020 with this truck, make sure you check out the first drive impressions and just listen to how good that TRD dual exhaust sounds with this truck. When I was watching the videos last night, I had to go back and look a little bit. Um, I was falling in love and this truck is just something else. Down the side, TRD Pro stamp in the side of the bed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Some people like to put a black inlay in that. Do you keep it body color stamp like it comes or do you put the black inlay to match maybe the blacked out badging? And again, with this double cab, you could still fit three adults, but you get the six and a half foot bed, a more functional bed size for a lot of people, obviously depending on what you use your Tundra for. There are no bumper sensors on this. Remember, you're not going to have the blind spot monitoring and the parking sensors, but that's not a big deal. You still get the backup camera. If you're someone that likes less is more, but you also want, you know, a few modern features like being able to use the Toyota app, the push button start, the Entune 3.0 system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, this is the truck for you. But I'll be very jealous if you buy it, of course, because this is one, if I had the money, I'm not even kidding, if I had the money, I would trade right now into this and just, this would be it for me. This is definitely the truck. When I got behind the wheel of this, and you guys know, I owned a 2020 TRD Pro Army Green Crew Max, and I love that truck. But there's just something different when it's a double cab. And you can ask, you know, around to people that have driven a lot of Tundras, I always felt the difference between the Crew Max and double cab. And when I had this for the week, it has just absolutely been in my mind <laughs> ever since then. And all the Tundras I like, and there are a lot of different Tundras that I do like, but there's just something special. First off, I love Lunar Rock. Secondly, I love the TRD Pro setup in the later years, 2019 and up, when they went to that different grill because of Toyota Safety Sense, when they went to the BBS Forge wheels, when they came from the, the Bill Seen Reservoir suspension to the Fox suspension, the TRD dual exhaust went from a chrome tip to a black tip. It's just the little small things with this setup, with the look of the double cab, which I'm a huge fan of that double cab look in new generation and old generation, to be honest with you. Uh, this one just had perfect setup and everybody's different and everybody likes a different type of tundra and that's what makes this channel fun to hear what everybody out there likes but right here i'm telling you this is number one for me when you go on the inside you're going to get the soft text trd pro seats little red stitching on there they are heated uh, and you will see trd pro throughout the cab there's also a trd pro down on the center console there little red stitching on the dashboard and this thing has dual zone automatic climate control again it's Entune 3.0 it has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It has trailer brake control. It has the push button start. And when we look at the back seat, this is what I'm talking about. You can fit three grown adults back here, no problem. I've owned a lot of double cabs. It was never, ever an issue. And also, if you lift the seats up, you have some under seat storage as well. So you're not really giving up much. Don't get me wrong. The Crew Max has a lot more space, but this will do the job. You're not giving up that much in the cab to get that six and a half foot bed. So something to keep in mind. And in the driver area, you will see the gauge cluster that they upgraded in 2018 because of Toyota Safety Sense. A nice look there, steering wheel, leather wrapped. It has all of your buttons on there for your phone controls, for your infotainment controls, and some Toyota Safety Sense feature buttons are on there as well. You get that TRD shifter, a nice clean dashboard and a nice clean driver area. And then we come to the screen, that's your backup camera there. Eight inch screen was upgraded uh, in 2020 to eight inch from seven inch. So get a little bit bigger of a screen. And with the later year TRD Pros, you also get that dual zone automatic climate control because it's based off of a limited platform. So a very nice truck, 48,588 is the price, 45,446. I want this thing, I do. I'm telling you, once a week, once every other week, I'm always looking for this truck somewhere out there to see if it's uh, for sale and you really just don't see them. Every maybe once a year, you'll see one pop up, but here's the crazy part. So I see this one with 45,000 miles on it 
and you know I was excited. And then I just you know I start looking around elsewhere. I do a lot of work on Auto Trader, but I went on Car Gurus and I found the same one. Then I went over to Carvana, and this is this is priced higher than when the truck was new. This was about the MSRP of my 2020 Army Green Crew Max. So this one here is the same truck we just looked at as far as setup and configuration, but it only has 7,000 miles on it. So this is brand new. But this one here, again, new, $53,000, $54,000. They're asking $57,900 on Carvana for this thing. Uh, but this thing's in pristine condition here. And if I had the money, I would pay. I would actually buy this one, uh, being it's so new. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll just keep looking around to see if one day I can make a good steal on either one of these. But if you're in the market for something that is the older platform, you want the 5.7, uh, but you want a couple you know, technological advanced stuff that we saw in 2020 and 2021, this may be the truck. But it's not overdone. Again, this doesn't even have the blind spot monitoring and the parking sensors. It's a pretty basic truck but it looks good. The suspension is very comfortable. The truck drives great. It's not like today where you go crew max and double cab, but uh, the whole platform on the new truck is completely different and comfortable and feels the same regardless of cab. Back then there was a difference in feel. So this is something that will get you some looks. If you're looking for the crew max, there's quite a few of them online, high mileage, low mileage, go on auto trader. But if you're looking for something that is a little bit different and a little bit more rare double cab and you're not giving up much you're just gaining a six and a half foot bed and a great trd dual exhaust sound twitter instagram linkedin facebook tiktok at tundra dude 34 tundra dude 34 gmail.com again you're going to see it pop up very shortly if you want to see the time i spent with a truck back in 2020 click on that playlist check it out this one's a beauty if you have the means go get it